Hello. Hey, good morning, Jeff. Yes, sir. This is Chris. You spoke to my assistant yesterday in regards to your property on Meadowlark. How are you today? Okay, I'm doing fine on yourself. Yes, yes. Uh, she told me to give you a call this morning. Um, I was just trying to get back with you to see uh, if we can work something out on uh, actually selling it. You still have the property, right? Yeah, it's closing on the 28th or something. Is it done quick? I mean, it's foreclosing on the 28th. Okay. Yeah. Have you been in contact with the bank at all? or? No, but I know you need like a release form or something. Okay. Right. Somebody right. else. Sounds like you've been down this road before, huh? No, I was talking to somebody else and, and they haven't gotten back on me for three days. And then you guys start calling me. So I, you know, if they're not calling me, I guess to change your mind or something. You know, so, but that's how I found out about that. Is it still time or a glimmer of hope, I guess? Yeah, most of the time it is if we move quickly. I'm um, just trying to figure out, I mean, how do you see all this playing out in a perfect scenario for you? Well, it, longer story short, me and my girlfriend split up. I, I used to drive a truck for 16 years. I was making 70 plus K a year when I moved in here seven plus years ago. And it's basically, I can't afford the place. It needed work when I moved in. It obviously, it still needs some work. It's worth it right on the lake here, you know. Um, you, you know, you'd be a real estate uh, guy. You know what's up with that. But, uh, yeah, I'd say probably 15, 20 grand throw it in it. It's something like 80 to pay it off. You know, it'd be worth 25 more than that immediately probably. But, um, you know, I just can't afford it, man. And um, if I could get, you know, just a little bit over cost to move to go – put my camper on a campsite, you know, I feel like I'm living right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm in right. a pinch. So the biggest thing for you is just getting a little bit of moving money so you can, you know, move where you need to go and everything. Exactly. And, and it's something like 80000 to pay it off, I'm, I'm pretty sure. The principal was 70 something. I, I can dig a rocket mortgage, the last statement they gave me here up here. Um, like, like you just send your picture of that or something and go from there with it, I guess. Right. Yeah, and then what is the uh, payment on it? How much does it cost every month? It, it was seven. It went down to seven nineteen, I believe. It was seven forty eight. That includes you know, the tax and insurance. Yeah, yeah, and and because of the the COVID, I ended up you know staying there. I guess you know like I'm fifteen or sixteen thousand behind on on payments. So sixteen thousand in arrears. That's what they told you. Yeah, yeah, right, right around there. Um, I gotta dig this. Yeah, so sixteen thousand. Yeah, great. So sixteen thousand in arrears. That's what it would cost to just bring the loan current, if if that was an option. Yeah, I, I can't afford it to seven something anyway. I'm, you know, I'm in a pinch, man. My, my son's blind and disabled. I don't have anybody to help me with him. I'm in the country. I don't really know anybody, you know, to say. Um, you know, so me going back to work right now wouldn't be an option, even to think about it. And, uh, you know, we're living on like nine, his SSI check and 300 in stamps, you know, so I'm, I mean, I'm just, I'm bad, I'm bad check. This one's dated 8 1 of 20. So that's a mortgage payment that you have there. Yeah, so it's two two more payments. It's just over uh, right about sixteen thousand. Hold on, this one says fourteen eight. There's an eight one, you know. So that's a month, you know, a month so. Yeah, is it possible you could take a picture of that and either text it over to me or email? Is it possible to take a picture of that uh, mortgage statement? Yes, sir. Uh, what would you like, an email or? Uh... It'd be easier to just text it to you, I think. Yeah, you can text it to this number. Yeah, this is myself. All right, right now? Works. Yeah, you can send it now. That's fine. Um, okay. So that would give the uh, payoff amount and your um, arrears. And a, re a principal balance is, is uh, 73000 Oh, okay. Balance. Would that, so, that would be close to payoff, probably. And then as far as going into your pocket, if we were able to work everything out, you said for moving expenses, about how much is that? Uh, what could you go? I mean, you know, like, I don't know, would a thousand bucks be too much to, to uh, you know, request? 
a thousand not, over cost. That's not realistic. That's not unrealistic. So I think we may be able to do something like that. I'm just trying to put it all together first so we make sure we can right. account for everything to make sure that this is really right. with it only being eight days away. Um, yeah, if you, could give me a, if you could do me a thousand, sir, man, I, I'd feel so blessed and get out all these. It's, this would be off my record and, you know, get out all the, uh, like, 5,000 and foreclosing costs or whatever that's going to be, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think it's something like 73 or maybe 78. It says escrow balance minus five under the principal balance 73, so they would tax that five on, right? Uh, possibly, yeah. and that's why I was going to uh, probably end up reaching out to them to see what options are available because sometimes we uh, we are able to reach out to the bank, find out you know what options are available, and try to work something in that direction. So there's a couple of different ways we can go about this. Um, and it says here that the condition, I guess, is livable, but it's not bad. It just needs, like, updating. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, it needs remodeled to both the bathrooms up and downstairs. It has partial cedar flooring in the in the you know, kitchen, and I, it's only a thousand fifty square feet. It's two up and one down. Actually, the one down isn't considered a downstairs bedroom because there's not a window in it. It's right next to the laundry room. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, it just needs remodeled, man. It, it, I, w- I would say, you know, maybe twenty grand more in it, and it'd be worth it. You know, buck and a quarter, probably. You know, right out of the gate. But, you know, with my blueprint, what I was going to do anyway. Too, but, but somebody could live in it pretty much right now. It's just not updated. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, yeah, they could. It, it would need a little bit of a PVC work on the, you know, not not much. Just a little bit of, you know, PVC pipes leaking in a couple spots, stuff like that. Some little stuff. Not much to be livable. You know, I could clean it up better, too. I've got it pretty clean upstairs. The basement could use some more cleaning up. Um and work some out. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's gonna be about eighty grand to pay it off the way it's it what I'm looking. I'll send you the pictures. And yeah, that would be great. Now you said you had a ex wife or a wife that you were separating from? Uh not a wife, a long time girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, that's why I want to make sure is she on any of this paperwork as far as the no. house or the loan? No, none. It's totally in my name. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, because I know sometimes we we get somebody and they be like, Yeah, I'm ready. And the girl, the wife or whatever, they're like, nope, not over my dead body. And I'm like, oh, man, we got one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, no drama here, man. If you could just get through the red tape and yeah, hopefully you want it. And that, that'd be great. So, uh, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and take this picture. So, uh, recapping here says that you said it was about 73000 in arrears. I mean, 73000 owed, 719 a month as a payment, about 16000 in arrears, according to them. And you're trying to walk away with about a thousand dollars in pocket if we can make this deal work. Yeah, that that would be awesome, man. Okay. Yeah, because I mean that's that's realistic. Because sometimes people have unrealistic expectations with this stuff, especially when it's short notice like this. And I'm like, yeah, right. you're asking for a lot. <laughs> I'm pretty good, but I don't know. Can't make a promise when I, when people get ridiculous with this stuff. Um, yeah, I don't want to want to look a gift horse in the mouth, man. I just had it, you know. I'm, Pretty broke right now, and you know, I told you my scenario. So, yeah. And so you yeah. you already have a place to move to and everything. If we're able to work this all out, I'm sitting out here in a camper I bought, man, outside the house in the front. You know, there's camp there's camp lots all over the place down in Perry or whatever, like five six hundred a month. But you know, they they're like first and last month, so that would get me moved. You know, thirty five forty miles from here. Oh, okay. So you would just move that camper to somewhere and pay lot rent somewhere, I guess. Exactly, for starters. I mean, and I mean immediately as soon as we do the deal. So I, unless you want me here to work on it, clean up or something, you know, I got a pickup truck, I could do that or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm going to work with you where I can. <clears throat> okay. So perfect. Um, also, can you text me your email address? I can send that authorization form over to you as well. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll do that, sir. And um, I'll be watching my phone all day so this goes smooth as you know, fast as possible. Hopefully. Yeah, you know, okay. And, and you text that uh, mortgage statement over, or are you going to be sending that here shortly? Yeah, as soon as you get off the phone. Okay, no problem. So, yeah, I'm going to look at this. Um, and then uh, I guess I see some pictures online here. I guess it looks pretty much like it says on Zillow or something, or is that out of date? Or Has it got a green roof on it? Uh, let's see here. 
It's brown on the inside. Yeah, it has a green roof, brown on the outside. Yep. Yeah, I put that steel roof on it, and, and I, I built a front porch six years ago, that, and that's the first thing I did to it. And pretty much all I did to it besides they had some extra parking out front, which was grass. Where the camp was so this house is literally right on the lake. You can put a boat right there, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh. The dock, you know, it dilapidated. The dock could be redone. The back deck is redone. You know, it's old wood and stuff. But, you know, that's that's – it's not that expensive, you know. It, it it it's been you know a little bit tore up inside, man. To be honest with you, like the counter is 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 press board, you know, the counter that holds the sink. It needs redone with something decent. Like I would put marble there, man, because it's just you know one. It ain't that big of a counter, you know what I mean? It's got solid wood cabinets. I don't know why they put the press board. In. Okay. It just. You know, I, I, I press board back in there though, you know. On the cheap, I would say, you know, just depending on how you buy your materials and who's how much you're paying whoever, you know, you could do it probably for ten grand remodel it all, man, and, and have it really sharp, you know. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah let me let me thing, look at this here deeper. Um I think we can do something with this. So if you can send that mortgage statement and that um your email address, I'll get that document sent over to you. And I'm gonna start working on this here this morning to see what we can do as far as helping you out. All right, Chris, that sounds real good, man. I'm going to do it right now. All right. Did you have any questions for me before I let you go? Oh, oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. How long does the process take? How long does the process take? Yeah, the process, I mean, say everything goes yeah, good question. So general rule of thumb, it takes a, a few weeks for title work, et cetera. So my first thing right now is to find a way to actually stop the auction. That would be best case scenario so we're not jumping through crazy hoops. So my first step is try to find a way to stop the auction so we have time to actually buy it. Um, if not, um, we would have to get it done before the 28th, which is the auction date. But I would prefer to get them to stop the auction so that there's not a big crazy rush on it. And it gives you time to, you know, get stabilized and moved and everything. Because I know this is a lot of pressure on you. So uh, that's our first thing. How do we stop this auction first? And then we go through the process of buying it. As far as move goes, I got everything out of that house. Except for a few things in the basement I could trash and clean it up a little better in the basement. Which would take would, me a couple of Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's basically how the program, how it will work. So um, general rule of thumb, about three weeks. But... We don't have three weeks, so we need to see if there's a way to stop the auction first. If that that would be my number one priority right now, with it being only eight days away, which most Thank of the time we can. Do that. I just want to make sure that we have everything we need to make sure that that can happen. Okay, and I'll be by my phone if you need anything else. Watch my Gmail and my. Uh, and I'm gonna put you in my contacts. Perfect. Yeah, and I just text you my uh, information as well. So yeah, uh, Jeff, I'm gonna look into this here, and I'll get back with you here shortly. Okay. All right, sounds good, Chris. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.